Hey guys and welcome back to another Nintendo video. In my previous pickups video I showed that I uh, picked up these two miniature arcade machines which is Miss Pac-Man and Tetris. So in this video I'm going to open up the Tetris and possibly take it apart, um, give it a bit of a tear down so we can see what's inside them. Uh, I'm not too sure if I want to open up the Miss Pac-Man one yet. Um, I do like the packaging on that one but we'll see. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, open this without wrecking the uh, packaging too much. Um, it kind of looks like you can open it without without ruining the packaging, but at the same time, it looks like it looks like we may even ruin it by opening this. Let's, just, let's start with the tape. That opens, but it actually looks like it's glued down on the front. So I don't know why they would have done it this way. Let's see how we go. I was hoping that I could open them without ruining the packaging, um, just so I could put them back in the packaging. Uh, the Pac-Man, the Miss Pac-Man one, uh, I am a little bit reluctant to open because uh, I do like the packaging on that one and I don't really want to ruin the packaging just to open it. But we'll use Tetris as a guinea pig and if I can open this without ruining the packaging then that's great. Alright, so you can see here it's got three tabs. But it does look like it is glued on the front of the actual thing, so let's see if we can open that without ruining it. Ah, uh, yeah. And it, it is definitely glued. You can see that I've ripped it up here. Um, once you get the tabs out of the way, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely stuck down. That's a bit unfortunate, because um, I didn't really want to rip the packaging. Um, we've got a little, little manual in here. I'm going to tell you how to use it, warranty, etc. Move, move this packaging out of the way, and that's the unit there. I've got to admit, it does look pretty cool outside of the box. Press the demo button there. Get your up and down. So down here you can see the on off button. Um, you've got a volume button. Let's go ahead and... Looks like you need to remove this so you can actually uh, play the game. Okay, now that we've had our 10 seconds of gameplay, it's time for you to go on the shelf, buddy. I'm just kidding. I am curious to see what's inside of this thing. It's got four screws holding the uh, case together, so let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, there's only four screws, uh, but I'll go ahead and speed this process up so you don't have to watch me uh, undo all four screws. I mean, it shouldn't take long. Let's 
feel like there's something else holding it together under here somewhere. And uh, no, it does not look like it. It is catching somewhere in this area. I don't want to break it. There's a button. What is this? Oh, that's the that's the demo the demo mechanism. I don't really want to pull it too much apart. Um, there's a little switch button on the back here, interesting. Oh, there you go. That's the demo. This uh, joystick actually, you can press in on it, and it makes the the blocks instantly snap down. It's interesting that it's got a yeah another power button on the back there, just to get a bit more of a closer look. Oh yeah, you're a bad girl, aren't you? You can see the uh, speaker down here. Then you've got the PCB for the the buttons and the joystick. That button there is actually a reset button. It says reset there, right underneath it. I don't know too much about circuitry, um, the stuff's just interesting to me, and sometimes it's nice to see what's inside. Not really much to it, it's pretty much just one whole plastic piece. attached to that PCB there. Um, I don't know if you can pull it off. I don't really want to attempt it because I don't want to break it. But at the same time I kind of do want to pull it off. There we go. Little glass screen. Interesting. See on the uh, PCB, it's got sound and on on slash off. There we go. Let me just uh, pull all this out so we can see it properly. So the last thing I've got is the speaker. I might as well pull it out.
I'm not gonna bother pulling out the uh, little demo tab thing at the back, but uh, that's pretty much it. This is the uh, on off. You can see that, let me just let me just turn off the uh, the lights and you should be able to see it a bit better. What's happening? See it lighting up, but I don't actually see anything on the screen. All right, uh, I was a little bit worried there for a second because um, nothing was coming up on the screen, but it's just because there was not enough pressure on it. Um, it looks like it uh, just needed to press down hard on the um, the little film or, or whatever's between the two. Um, but anyways, I'm going to put this back together. Um, as you can see here, you've got the the start button and the I guess the flip the blocks buttons and then your directional buttons um, you got your little speaker down the bottom here and your joystick with a spring then you've got the on off on off and sound uh, on the back of the monitor uh, or screen you've got the little reset button There is a ground um, pin up the top there. Nothing seems to be connected to it, um, neither on the other side, but um, yeah, that might be used for something. And you got your, your power and uh, your sound on and off is all labeled on the bottom of the PCB there. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna put it back together. And there you have it, all back together. And this may look like it's flashing. Um, it's only doing that on the uh, the camera, but it's not actually doing it when you're physically looking at it. Um, if you like this teardown video, guys, please leave a comment in the comment section below. It's my first teardown video that I've ever done, so go easy. Um, if you'd like to see more content like this, um, let me know. Um, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content, and like the video. Thanks for watching.